Hello and welcome to this session of Fish Bait's Flybox. Um, today I'm going to tie another version of the Copper Wand Worm. Um, in the vise I have a Gamagatsu B10S, size 10, and I've got an eighth inch bead on the front, and I've wrapped point, about a dozen wraps of .020 lead wire. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the thread behind the lead, and I'm going to bring it down, I'll cut the tag end, I'll bring it down to almost the bend of the hook, and then I'll bring it back up, and I'll start. Wrapping this in. And then I'm going to take some worm material, and I'm going to use earthworm, the actual natural worm color here, and I'm going to go ahead and tie that in. Now what I want is I want the, the both the tail and the head, the front of this, to be about one Hook shank to a hook shank and a half length long. So I'll go ahead and tie that in right behind the bead. I'll keep going down until we get to the bend of the hook. Right about there. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I right, just line these up and guess where I'm going to cut it. Right about there. And then I'm going to take some copper wire and I will. Tie that in along the bottom of the the shank of the, the bottom of the shank of the fly, and I'll keep bringing that up. And I'm gonna start building my taper here, just like I would a copper john. Okay, once I think I've got a good enough taper, which I'm getting close, I'll go ahead and wrap this copper wire around the shank of the hook. I think this chenille works. Um, it's easier to tie in than the squirming material is, but I think the squirming material has a little more action to it. So it's just a matter of preference and a matter of what you're looking for and how much you're trying to attract the fish and, and just how you're fishing it in general. Let's keep wrapping that up and as you can see as I'm wrapping this I'm kind of leaning it back a little bit and as I'm leaning it back a little, the wrap the copper wire back a little bit it's making it so that the copper wire lines up right next to the other the wrap before it. Good. I'll go ahead and tie that off. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and tie in my wing case material. And I'm going to use some atomic glow here as the Instead of flash boo or holographic tinsel, I'm just going to use this atomic glow. And it glows in the dark. So we'll see. I, I like the material. I think it's a good material. So I'll wrap that in. Then we'll take some thin skin. And I've got this cut to 3 16 wide, thick. It's about the same gap, or same width as a uh, the gap of a size 12 TMC 5262. We'll go ahead and Wrap that down. About 60% point of the hook. Tie it down good. Bring it back to the front. And if you notice, the my other version of this flies the the of the copper wand worm. The squirm is use squirming. Excuse me. Use this squirming material, and I've I've shoved that squirming material at the front of the bead. On this one I felt it was more beneficial 
easier to get the hook eye if I tied the sh tied it with the uh, chenille on the, the other side of the bead. This stuff doesn't stretch like that scoring material does. So you can't if it's tied up against the hook eye, you don't have access to the hook eye. Hook eye. Um, so yeah, and for the thorax, I'm going to use a, a mixture. I've um, mixed a package of ice dub olive with a package of ice dub UBV brown. I've just mixed it in a, a coffee grinder and it's kind of a, it's almost like the pheasant tail but it's got a little bit of hint of uh, brown of the UV in it I guess and so I'll just take that and I'm going to tie it around for the thorax Okay, now I'm going to pull the thin skin over the front of the fly. Tighten that down. And I'll do it right underneath it. If I do this with little snips on the thin skin, I can get it so that I'm close to the hook shank rather than having a little bit of a tag on that. Um, that tag drives me nuts when you cut it straight across and you have a little bit of tag there. So if I do a little snips of it, I don't have to I don't have the tag there. Then I'm gonna take the thins the atomic glow, line that up where I want it, and go ahead and tighten that down. Okay, I'm gonna wrap a little bit of a head. And then I'm going to whip finish. The reason I'm using chartreuse is it adds that extra bit of a hot spot. And the dubbing has some UV properties too, so this whole thorax is kind of a UV spot. So I like that's what I like. One of the things I like about this this fly. All right, now I'm going to take some cure 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 excuse me clear cure goo thick. Ooh, that's way too much. Comes out too fast. I'll grab some uh, my pocket and line it up where we want it. nice about this cure this these UV glues you can adjust it if you need to take some off and you don't have to worry about it setting all the way right away until you hit it with a UV light. So now I'm gonna hit it with my UV light. Okay. And I'm gonna coat it with another slight coat of uh, clear cure U hydro. And there, and then I'm gonna take a lighter and I'm gonna singe the tips of the tips of this. And there it is. That's the UV, excuse me, the copper wand worm with some ultra chenilles, the the worm wormy part of it. And I'm also gonna do one more thing. And 
pull these, pull some fibers out. This dummy for legs. And there we go. There you have it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy enjoyed this tutorial, or excuse me, enjoyed this demonstration. And I hope that uh, please remember to like Fish Base Flybox on Facebook, subscribe to Lance Dean's YouTube channel, and to stay up to date with FishBaseFlybox.com. Thank you, and have a nice day.